Hello, Steve Weaver here with a demo featuring our new Terraform Actions capability with Azure. Before we get started, let's outline what we're going to see in this demo. Terraform Actions are a powerful way to trigger external operations during a Terraform run, like power cycling a virtual machine, without leaving the Terraform workflow. There are two main ways we can get actions invoked via the CLI, allowing for ad hoc tasks to run without running a full plan and apply, and as lifecycle triggered actions during a Terraform apply. We'll show how Terraform actions can be used to invoke an Azure action as part of an infrastructure deployment. We'll walk through the Terraform code, the new Azure VM power cycling action, and the full execution flow from GitHub to HCP Terraform to Azure. Then we'll power off our VM using the Terraform CLI. We use Terraform Actions for this specifically because it gives us traceability, automation, and reproducibility. We can deploy infrastructure and trigger logic in one seamless flow with full visibility in the HCP Terraform UI. So let's get started. Here in the Azure dashboard, we can see that we have a VM running. Let's drill into the details and take a look at the activity log. Here we can see that the VM deployed using Terraform. Let's go take a look at the script in GitHub. Here's the corresponding HCL code that deployed our instance. We didn't just create the VM, in fact, we also created everything we need to run a web application, like a virtual network, subnet, and network interface. Here's where we actually created the VM. It's a simple Ubuntu server. Here's the part that's new, though. We're creating a Terraform data resource that will trigger our new action to power cycle the VM. In our case, we're going to trigger a restart programmatically by changing a network interface tag. It'll serve as a basic example of how to invoke the action in HTTP Terraform. You can see that the action is part of the lifecycle block of the resource. It'll be triggered after an update, and we've added the provider action in which action config to run. In this case, a restart. Here's the action config block with the configuration needed to restart the server. This action has a power action command to either restart, power on, or power off the server and requires the VM ID. As you can see, I've added action config blocks for the power off and on commands too. Okay, I'm gonna quickly edit the code to change the nick tag I mentioned earlier. I'll then commit the changes and we'll see the run automatically start in HTTP Terraform. Right, the Terraform plan began automatically. Let's drill into the Terraform plan details. We already have the VM up and running, so there's nothing to create here. We just have a couple things that have changed since we last ran the code. First, the NIC trigger tag has changed. This is what we edited in the code previously. Second, Terraform recognizes that because the tag changed, the trigger conditions have been met for our action to run and we can see that the restart action will be invoked after the NIC tag is updated. So let's confirm the plan and run the Terraform apply. Our plan is now being applied, and we can see that the tags have changed and our action has been invoked. Drilling down into the action, we can see that indeed we've invoked a restart on our demo VM, and the action completed successfully. Let's go confirm that in Azure. We'll just refresh the activity log, and we can quickly see that the restart succeeded. To show the power of actions, let's jump to the CLI and see how we can invoke the action standalone. We use the Terraform apply with the dash invoke flag and simply provide the action name and the config that we want to run, in this case to power off the server. As before, we can see that there will just be one change, an invoke action to power off the server. Let's agree to do that and see what happens. Okay, looks like the action succeeded. Let's verify that again in Azure. Yes, it worked. We see that the instance is stopped and the virtual machine power off command was generated by Terraform. Success. So that's the demo. We've shown how we can use Terraform actions to trigger external operations, both from HTTP Terraform and the command line. In our case, we were able to cycle our Azure VMs using the new action in the Azure Terraform provider. It's a powerful way to manage day two operations within the Terraform workflow. Thanks for watching.